Uh, welcome back. So in the in this video, I will be showing you how to integrate Firebase Authentication. Basically, how to integrate email and password and authentication and all that around. So this is gonna be a two-part, three-part video. Uh, so first part would be of integrating then how to set up the Firebase projects and everything. I will show you in the next part. Like I will show you in this part. So starting with, firstly, you have to open your browser and go with something. Then you have to go to the Firebase console. I know it's not as slow, but we are hoping for the best, right? Then you go to the Firebase console. Go to the console. You can copy the URL from over here. I have to log in, so I will just log in from here. Remember the app log, uh, open the console. So basically, this is what will you get on the console.firebase.com. Uh, so open this website, create a log, log in your number, log in, and you're good to go. After that, you have to create a project. So you just go to create a project. Then you have to name the let's name it auth example. Okay, I can use this one, but not that one, right? Okay, you have to do the Linux account. You don't have to create a project. So it will create a project. So we have to wait for a few seconds. Okay, so then I will show you how to set up a wiki here. So. There are like few commands you have to echo. So firstly, you have to like create a new project. Firstly, you have to know that you have a new project or the fire project that doesn't contain any firebase or execute, right? So we can create a new project. Control shift tab, create a new project. Let's create an application and give them the directory and the auth auth example. So we got that. As our project is created, we will continue and you can see we are in our project. Right? So now you don't have to do some basic big things. Just have to come to the, these are all the things you can do using this. So we right now focusing on the authentication. So we just focus on the authentication and you can see it is unable, right? So we have to go get started. Okay, we will just press the get started with me. And right now we are just let's focus on email and password login. Then go enable and save. That's it. You are done for that. So now we are going back to our code. This is our code, and this is what the new project file you get all the time. Okay. So now uh, we are integrating the Flutter uh, into this. So you have to like follow the steps. So firstly, you have to look up using the command Firebase login. So as soon as you press the Firebase login, you will it will check and automatically log in your account. So you have to make sure you log in with the same email ID that you use over here, as you can see, right? So it's, it is there, right? After that, you have to use another commands, which are I will show you in line by line. So let's get back to that. Okay, sorry for that. Oh, sorry, not here. Okay, so firstly, we'll go to Firebase login. Then you have to activate the Flutter Fire CLI. So if this command not work, you can follow the documentation of Flutter Fire CLI. As you can see, we are activating the version 1.1, building packages executed. Done. Then we will use another command which is very simple. It is like as it said it's a warning, so we just copy this command and paste it over here. Sorry for that. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot the controller. 
and do this as well, right? As soon as I hit that, we will go to the next command, which is verify configure, and we will press the configure button. So now it will start fetching your projects on the repository from the whatever account you have. So it will show all the projects shown by here, which is like this price on the projects. So it just can see we have. So we have to select the auth example one, and we are doing for Android, iOS, not for web, web and Windows. You can use space to do this stuff and enter to select them. It is registering your Android app. So now the uh, Firebase has made it so simple that you don't have to use any, uh, you don't have to download Google services file, put in the box and everything. It can directly happen without any like manual work. Just run five commands and you will be good to go. As you can see, it is upgrading the port file. And dun, dun, dun. we got the IDs and this. So this is it. So you got the Firebase options files too. So now you have to just go here, add the Firebase code dependencies. After that, you also need the Firebase author dependency. I will be doing that in the next video. So I think that's it. It's gonna be the easy part. So thank you and have a nice day.